What is up everybody? Welcome to this new video of Tech Express. My name is Steven and I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the Shopify online store. I'm going to be showing you how to design totally for free and the process is actually really really simple. Which is the very first thing you want to do in order to get started is to click into the link that I'm going to leave you guys down below in the description. So you can get a free trial. You have a free trial and then later on if you like that trial you can stick around here for the next three months of Shopify with whatever plan you wanted to for only one dollar. But all of this is only available into the link that I'm going to leave you down below. So once you click into the link that I'm just going to give you guys, what you want to do is to start your free trial by using an email and then later on you want to go into the passcode. Now, after you have successfully done that, you need to verify your email and here to be appearing your email has been verified. I'm going to hit into go to my store. And now the last thing you wanted to do is to just sign into your actual Shopify store. So in my case, I'm going to go here to continue with email going to go with passcode the process once again is actually really really simple and this one should be taking us into our stores of Shopify so the very first the second thing that we want to do now I'm just going to wait a few seconds here um, is to actually get started I'm going to click here and then later on I wanted to start by creating an online store if you don't see this dashboard you don't have to worry about that you can always go into stores into the upper side and here I want to go with create another store. Now here I'm going to go with I'm just starting here. I'm going to hit now into next. Now this is the part where I wanted to get started with how I wanted to sell my stuff. For example, I want to sell as an online store, uh, in marketplaces and social media. And then I'm going to hit into next. Now which social channels would you like to sell on? Let's go for Instagram and Facebook only. After that I'm going to hit now into next. And then later on, the online marketplaces you want to sell on, let's go for Etsy and eBay. Now into next. And lastly, what is the plan of stuff that we plan to sell? If you don't know what you want to sell, you don't have to worry about that. You can always go into that. I'll decide it later. In my case, I want to go with products I buy or make myself. Then later on, I'm going to hit now into next and we're actually good to go. So I choose my account, which is actually that one. And as you can see here is my actual store has been built. So the shopping cart of Shopify's card is pretty looking here. We can choose free themes, uh, everything we need uh, to get started here totally for free. We can see the insights, we can see reports, we can go for the administrative reports and much more. So now we are now inside the dashboard of Shopify. So now what I wanted to do is to customize this side, my actual online store. So the very first thing you want to do is to check it out here in the home section we have the setup guide. So here into the setup you have the uh, use this personalized guide to get your store up and running. So for example, first of all it says add a product, then customize your online store, add pages to your store, uh, organize your store navigation, create a professional logo, configure to choose channels. So what I do love to do is to get started here first of all into the setup guide. So before we clicked in here, before we can do any of this, I can uh, certainly suggest you to go into settings into down here and then scroll all the way down until you find the section that says brand. Now here into brand, what I want to do is to import all my logos, uh, my different colors, primary, secondary, color images, a slogan, a short description. If you don't have any of this, this is the time, this is the part where you wanted to actually create all of that in order to get started. And here is how we should be looking at my actual brand assets. So I'm going to hit now into plus to add my very first logo. I'm going to hit into upload one. I'm going to go into my downloads and as you can see, I do have this logo that I'm, I'm going to be using. In my case, I'm going to be using, let's say something like this. I can totally suggest you to use an image a PNG file so you don't have an actual background. Even though it's white, you need to have um, the one that has an actual background removal. So as you can see, this is the only logo. I have the processing and then later on, it now it's done and boom. This house is going to be looking the actual logo into my store. So now I have this square version of my actual social media. So either I can use the same one or I can choose another one. In my case, I'm going to stick around with that one. But then later on, I can try to change this later. So then I'm going to go with preview. Let's go for a circle. And as a favicon, there we go. So it's actually not looking that bad. Now into the colors. Into the colors, I'm going to do something like this. And the constraints colors is this and the secondary. Let's go with something bluer. 
Now into the cover images. This is something um, true easy to do. You just need to uh, upload a file of 1920 by 1080, and you just need to upload your logo in the and this is how it's going to be looking here. Actually, it's not that hard to design that stuff. You can use Canva if you wanted to. You can use Photoshop. You can use. You can even use your phone uh, to do this totally for free. So I'm going to hit now into done. Preview as let's say three to one. Now the slogan, the show description, and the social links should be up to you. In my case, I don't have any social links of my actual store, so I just use Shopify as an example. So then I scroll all the way up. And as you can see, here's how it's going to be looking, our actual branding logo. So as you can see, it's actually looking really, really great. So now I'm going to hit now into save. And then later on, I can go and view my online store. So here into my online store, we don't have absolutely anything. We only have like a template already been done. So what I wanted to do is to import all my info in order to decide my actual store. But since we already have imported the branding and logo, it's not going to be that hard to do that. So I'm going to hit now into the X mark. I'm going to focus into my online store, into the left part, focus into themes. And here in themes, by default, you have a theme, a free themed called Dawn. So whether you can choose that theme or you can scroll a little bit down here, it says popular free themes and choose the one that fits for you the best. In my case, I'm going to stick around with the Dawn version because these are all the elements. Here's how it's going to be looking here. So as you can see, we don't have absolutely anything here, but this is like an example of how it's going to be looking our actual store. So I'm going to hit now into customize into the upper side of my actual already been imported um, theme. So now I'm going to hit now into my image banner, something much, much easier. Actually, I'm going to go screw all my way up and we have the announcement bar. So this announcement bar, usually it's like, uh, let's go for half yourself, a 50% discount and the color scheme, I'm going to hit now into accent number one or accent number two. As you can see, we have the colors that we have just chosen before speaking about our actual branding colors. So that's the reason why I told you guys it's much, much easier to get started with branding settings. All right, now let's click into the image banner, explore a free image banner. And let's go for clothing or clothes. And lastly, as you can see, uh, what I did here is just to add a few pictures of some men's clothing styles. I'm going to hit now to select. And what I did in order to do something like that, I'm going to go back here into slide. Here into the home page, I focus into template. And as you can see, I have this actual image banner. So I scroll all my down and hit into add selection. I choose the slideshow and here I added three different images and there we go. So lastly, what I just need to do is just to focus into my catalog, for example. So I hit now into the homepage. Once again, I go here and scroll all the way down and focus now into click here. I click into the catalog. This should be sending us into the products. So once I do have the sign of my actual store, once I do have the sign of the contact, the catalog, all that information, if you wanted to, the, um, let's say, customize what's inside the pages, I'm going to hit into save. I'm going to exit here and I'm going to hit now into my online store and here into pages. So here into pages, what you want to do is to change, for example, the info about the contact, the info about the FIQ uh, answers. Um, if you go into the products here, I can add and edit all my products and all of that is going to be edited inside the same place of the online store. So then at the end of the day, you can always go into your online store, hit into view your online store. And from this, we have now something like this. And it's actually looking really, really great in order to, uh, for starters here, it's actually looking really, really awesome for just getting started here. So um, as you can see, guys, we didn't do like a lot of stuff here, but this is how you can design stuff here into Shopify totally for free. Once again, you do have a free boson and you have the three months of whatever plan you want to for the next, uh, once again, three months for only one dollar. So that's totally up to you guys if you wanted to check it out that or if you want to just to stick around with the trial boson. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel guys if you want to see more amazing tools of how you can get started here to shopify thank you so much for watching this video guys and see you on the next video